NBA player props here on Price Picks for Friday, March 24th. Before I get started, there's a link in the description below to sign up for Price Picks, or you guys can use promo code TUFF to sign up. They will match 100% of your first deposit. There is a Discord link in the description, as well as Patreon link in the description where I post all the plays I'm making on Price Picks for each given sport that I do play. Again, not gambling advice, not financial advice either. This is simply just the plays I'm personally looking at making, hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player prop decisions here. But we have a massive slate in the NBA today, I believe 10 games on the slate. All 20 teams playing overall. We also do have the price picks protected entry as well. $20 free $20 play as well. So let's get right into it, you guys. Massive slate. Um, the first play I'm targeting is going to be Austin Reeves. And I do like two plays here. Um, I'm taking over five and a half assists. Let's just talk about why I like this. So Austin Reeves over in two or three of his last five games here. Um, but Austin Reeves started his first, or not his first game ever, but he started after coming off the bench for quite some time here. And in that game against Phoenix, uh, last game at home, he had 11 assists. And in that game, he had 14 potential assists and had 11, made 51 passes and played 38.8 minutes. So obviously a significant minutes increase here for Austin Reeves. If we take a look at his minutes, um, I mean, his last three games where he's played 32 plus minutes, he's had five, seven, and 11 assists. We've also seen him have eight assists here in 20 minutes, six assists here in 30 minutes, um, seven assists here twice in 27 minutes. Um, so Austin Reeves obviously is a playmaker. Uh, I'm a Laker fan, so I do watch these games. And in the half court sets, and a lot of times even bringing the ball up, Austin Reeves does kind of act like a point guard, especially if um, D'Angelo Russell is not on the floor. He is just really really becoming a primary ball handler for this team um, and I think now that he's in the starting lineup it's just going to increase even more here um, we take a look at Austin Reeves here now with LeBron off the floor over the last 15 games or what is this 14 15 games Austin Reeves playing 14 minutes in a 361.3 minute sample size Austin Reeves averaging 7.1 assists per 36 minutes minutes sorry and uh, 22.8 points per game seeing 21.7 usage right and Lonnie Walker doesn't really play that much so I mean Austin Reeves seeing some very very significant usage even if we take this up over the last 15 days right per 36 minutes Austin Reeves 6.7 assists 24.4 points per game in per 36 minutes in 213 so very very significant usage for Austin Reeves with LeBron off the floor obviously um, but like I said, acts kind of like a primary ball handler, like a point guard. And OKC over the last 15 games, giving up the third most assists to the point guard position over the last seven games, the second most assists to the point guard position. Teams overall, they are giving up the um, fourth most assists as a team to just opponents overall. Um, Austin Reeves here at five and a half assists just seems too low. He's going to play massive minutes. This is a, obviously a pace up game here. Both teams are top 10 in pace. Both teams need this win. Both teams I actually have the same record at 36 and 37. 232 over under with a five and a half point spread. But I do also want to give 24 and a half PA. I do think this play has some value as well. Um, we know Austin Reeves has been getting to the free throw line like crazy. He just had 36 PA um, in 39 minutes, but he gets to the free throw line 12 for 13. And we have kind of been targeting um, players against OKC all season long for free throws. So I definitely think Austin Reeves is going to be able to get to the line here. I do think a high scoring game is expected so again if you don't like five and a half assists here i think 24 and a half pa is a great um pivot as well obviously these two both cor positively correlate um but yeah i like austin reeves over five and a half assists and again if you don't like 24 and a half and a half pa is a strong play as well in my opinion um and then the other play that i'm targeting is going to be another assist it's going to be chris paul it's going to be Chris Paul over nine and a half assists here. Now, he let us down. This is, I believe, a Patreon play last game against the Lakers, and he only had four assists in this matchup, which is just crazy. He got into foul trouble. He only played like 11 minutes in the first half. He had three fouls, sat out most of the second quarter, where he usually um, plays a lot. Um, but I'm going to him here at nine and a half assists, where I just think it's too low given his his history versus the Sacramento Kings, right? This has a 239 over under. Sack is going to be three and a half point favorites. Both teams desperately need this win. Are not necessarily sacked, but the, the Phoenix Suns need this win. They absolutely need this win. This may actually have the highest over-under on the day. Yeah, the highest over-under on the day. So obviously a great game environment for assists here. But to Chris Paul against the Kings, right? In two games versus the Kings this season for Chris Paul, 16 assists and 19 assists in two matchups versus the Kings. Obviously, both these games were at home. The Kings play even faster at home on their home court. So this game should have some pretty significant pace to it. But in those two games, I mean, Chris Paul in two games 
this season versus the Kings. 26 potential assists average, 17 and a half assists, 74 pass, 74 and a half passes received, 68 passes made here for Chris Paul. We look at point guards, um, assists versus the Kings recently. Chris Paul 16, Chris Dunn had uh, 10, Westbrook had 10, Drew Holiday had 8, Dinwiddie 7, Marcus Smart 7. Um, the Kings overall defense to the position point guards. Um, the fifth most assists to the point guard position and as a team like I just alluded to with OKC Sacramento giving up the second most assists as a team to opponents right second most assists to the team as an opponent as two opponents but just an absolute smash spot here for Chris Paul I think just nine and a half too low considering he's had 16 and 19 assists versus the Kings already this season probably his two highest uh, assist games on the year um, again a must win game so I think he stays out of foul trouble here really looks to get him, his teammates involved and re really really plays aggressive here so I like Chris Paul over nine and a half assists Austin Reeves over five and a half assists here again I'll, I'll just add the Reeves um I'll just have the Reeves PA here just to give you guys some reference if you don't like uh, his, his assist. But again, PA, I mean, assist for Austin Reeves at five and a half and then Chris Paul over nine and a half assists. Two plays here on YouTube. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these two. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.